Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and today I wanted to show you how to change the background of your Cydia application on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPhone 3G. Now I've been getting many, many, many um, emails, personal messages, and comments all asking me on how I did this, and it is pretty easy. And if you don't know what I mean, I'll show you in a second. I'm going to open up the Cydia application. And whilst it's loading up, I want to tell you that it also changes the startup page. It changes the background of the manage page, and it changes the background of the settings application and the background of the detunes application if you have that. So basically, it changes anything that has that striped background. And I'll show you that real quick when I open up Cydia here, when it actually loads up. And as you can see, I have changed it. It is that it's kind of like a cool background, I guess. And it is pretty easy to do. As I said, it changes the manage page as well. And you'll still be able to see all of the stuff. This is not a particularly good one because it's black, so it's kind of hard to see the text and stuff. But I'll show you how to change that background to whatever you want. The two things you're going to need is, one, you're going to need um, to know how to SSH into your iPod Touch um, or iPhone, obviously. Link will be in the video description right over there, so just click more info. And the second thing you're going to need is Winterboard, which is a package from Cydia. And you can get that from Cydia if you don't already have it. Once you have both of those things installed on your iPod Touch or iPhone, we're going to exit out. And we are going to go on to our computer. Now, in the address bar of your web browser, you are going to type this in. Images.google.com You guys should all be familiar with Google. But I'll have a link to this website in the video description if you can't enter it in yourself or whatever. Um, and in the search query box, you're going to type this in. iPod Touch Wallpapers. This is regardless if you have the iPod Touch or iPhone. Just type in iPod Touch Wallpapers. Um, I've checked out both iPhone Wallpapers and iPod Touch Wallpapers. And you do get results. More results when you type in iPod Touch Wallpapers. Click, um, click search images. And we will have a list of perfectly tailored images for our iPod Touch. Now we can choose any one we want. As you can see, that is the one that I currently have. But we can pick any one we want. Um, I'm going to go for something I like. Or, you know what, I'll just go for this one right here. Um, so what we do is we click on the f image. We click See Full Image. And it should bring us up with a full-size image of this. If you don't get this Im um, picture or screen when you click on it, um, when you click see full image, then go try another picture because you won't be able to download it. But then once you have this screen, right-click and click Save Image As. And then you want to just save it to your desktop. And you can keep whatever name or file type for now and just click Save. Of course, it's going to vary a little bit, whatever um, browser you have. And bottom line is, you're going to have the file that you just downloaded. Now we need to rename this file. Alright, so now I'm um, here, and once we have the downloaded file, if you do not see the .png or the .jpg or whatever file it is, this is what you need to do. You want to go to Start, and you want to go to a Computer. And it may, it'll probably vary on XP. And you want to go into um, Tools. Make sure you have that bar open. Tools. And click Folder Options. Go into the View tab. So let me close up on that. The View tab. And you want to make sure that Hide Extensions for Known File Types is off. So make sure that's not ticked. Click Apply. Click OK. Your desktop should have flashed a little bit. You can close out of My Computer. And now if we click on this, it says .jpg, which is exactly what we need to see. Now we can right click and select rename, because we need to rename this. And we are going to rename the whole thing. So we want to rename it U, capital U, capital I, capital P, I, N, S, T, R, I, P, E. Again, that's going to be capital U, capital I, capital P. I N S T R I P E. Um, and then after that, you want to make sure it's .png. 
So I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to type that in. Alright, sorry, it's a little bit slow in typing, but that's what it needs to be. UI pinstripe.png. Once you have that all named, it's going to ask you if you want to change, just click yes. Now we need to create another folder, and we can do this by right clicking our desktop, selecting uh, new, and selecting folder. And we need to name this My City of Background, or you can name this whatever you want. I've just named it My City of Background. Inside there, it's what is in the, in the inside that matters. So you're going to name it capital U, capital I, capital I, M A G E S. And you know you can find all of this information in the video description as always. Double click on UI images. And this is where you need to drag and drop that picture that we downloaded and renamed into UI images. So we're going to drag and drop it in there. And it should be gone. Now here's the thing. If you wanted to use a different picture, not an iPod touch wallpaper, like if you wanted to use a Windows desktop, um, one of your Windows desktop wallpapers or... Um, any kind of picture that's not that is not one of the iPod Touch wallpapers, you need to use a software called GIMP or Photoshop um, to resize it. I'll have a link to GIMP in the video description because it is free. And you want to resize it to around 320 by 420, um, 320 by I'm sorry, 320 by 480. But um, like uh, around 420 is good because like if you do it 320 by 416, that is ideal. But iPod Touch wallpapers are automatically in 320 by 480, and that is fine. Okay? So now, once we have um, created the file um, and put it in the folder, we need to SSH into our iPod Touch. So we're going to double click on WinSCP and click Run. And we're going to click Login. Whoops, let me just make sure my SSH is enabled. It's going to ask me to reconnect or something. Alright, it's connecting, yes, and we're going to connect. Now from the home screen, we're going to click back once, and we're going to go into the folder that says stash, which is the third to last one, and we need to drag and drop my city of background with the file inside it, the picture inside it, into themes dot, that six letter, let me just... Oops, let me just make this a little bit bigger. Alright, so we need to drag and drop my city of background into themes. Click copy. And now we need to go on our iPod Touch and open up Winterboard like I told you you needed. And we're going to check off my city of background. Click the home button and wait for our iPod Touch to respring. Can unlock our iPod Touch, and now I'm gonna open up Cydia. And as you can see, my nice wallpaper has been added to my iPod Touch on the background of Cydia. I'll quickly show you the settings application. It works, but there's so many like options you can't even see the background. And quickly detunes. As you can see, the wallpaper works for all three. So please subscribe, rate, and comment, guys. Um, and I will see you guys real soon.